Hello students, welcome to education portal. So students in this video we are going to discuss the most important questions of renal physiology. Students remember this, these are the most important questions of renal physiology and these questions have been taken from various universities, various important exam of numerous universities. So please prepare these questions very well and if you know someone who is also preparing this topic, please share this video with your other medical colleagues so they can also get benefit from it. So students, we are now going to discuss the most important questions of renal physiology and these questions are equally important for MBBS as well as BDS students. So students, the first important question of renal physiology which you have to know in at every course is the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Students, you should know the what is the what are the components of juxtaglomerular apparatus and you should be able to draw a diagram of juxtaglomerular apparatus. Students, this is very very important question and have been frequently asked in multiple exams. Students, the next important question is the renal clearance. You should have a good idea of renal clearance and you should have a good idea of the tests which are done for the renal clearance. Students, the next important topic in the renal physiology is the counter current multiplier mechanism. Students, you should have a good idea of what is meant by counter current multiplier mechanism. Students, you should also um, have a good idea of what is the purpose of counter current multiplier mechanism and you should be able to da draw a diagram for this mechanism. Students, the next important topic in the renal physiology is the role of kidney in acid base balance. Student, you should be able to know what is meant by acid base balance and you should also have a good idea of what is meant by acidosis, alkalosis, the types of acidosis, for example, the metabolic and respiratory, respiratory acidosis and the type of alkalosis as well, the type is respiratory, the metabolic alkalosis and the respiratory alkalosis you should have a good idea of it and you should know the role of kidney in the acid balance acid base balance maintenance this is very very important question and can be given in the form of a clinical student the next important question of renal physiology is the mechanism of glucose reabsorption in renal tubule it is very very important question as and have been frequently asked in many medical exams student the next important question is the mechanism of concentrated and urea dilute urine formation students remember this is very very important question and if you are asked for the formation of concentrated urine you have to write for the counter current mechanism or you should you can also write the adh mechanism for the formation of concentrated urine these are the two two ways for the formation of concentrated urine and this question is also frequently asked in the various multiple medical exam if you are concerned for the renal physiology student the next important question is the gfr you should know what is meant by glomerular filtration filtration rate you should know is the exact value of glomerular filtration rate you should know the factors which are Affecting the glomerular filtration rate, you should know what is meant by tubular glomerular feedback and you should know what is meant by glomerular tubular balance. These are very very important terminologies that you should know at every cost. Student, the next important question is the micturition reflex. You should know what is meant by micturition. Micturition is the act of passing urine. You should know what is micturition reflex and you should know how the micturition reflex develops in a person and how it can be elicited. You should know the full complete details of micturition reflex. It is always asked if you are going to appear in the exam of renal system physiology or renal physiology. Student, the next important topic of the renal physiology are two important clinical. First is the nephrotic syndrome and the other is the nephritic syndrome student you should know each and every detail of nephrotic syndrome and nephritic syndrome you should know the clinical presentations of nephrotic and nephritic syndrome and you should not confuse between the nephrotic and nephritic syndrome in, in every situation and you should also know what is how can you manage a patient of nephrotic and nephritic syndrome both are different different syndromes and you should note them separately and you should also know the management symptom causes and the basic definition of each syndrome so student these questions were very much important question of renal physiology that i have tried my best to present this question from you if you like this video please share it with your other medical colleagues so they can also get benefit from it and now give me permission to leave we will meet in the some next video so thank you very much thanks a lot